Okay, so in this video, we're gonna look at enthalpy, heat, work, and internal energy. Okay, and so let's go ahead and look at our shorthands that we're gonna use here. Enthalpy is H, heat is Q, work is W, and internal energy, we're gonna use uppercase E. Okay, so that relates to our internal energy of our system. So we're gonna see how these relate to each other. So let's go ahead and say we have a system here, okay? Now, if our system here is a isolated system, right, we know that that means it's insulated, okay? And that means that there's no ability to allow mass or energy to go across this barrier between them, okay? Well, inside of my system here, I'm gonna have a specific internal energy. Okay, now if it's isolated, I have no way to allow energy to go across this. Okay, so in an isolated system, the internal energy is constant. Now our internal energy includes the two broad forms of energy that we've talked about, kinetic and potential energy. So this is constant, this energy is constant. Does it mean that our kinetic and potential energies are constant though? All right, so inside of here, we could increase the temperature. Well, that temperature must increase, must come from the inner conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy and vice versa, right? So in an isolated system, it's separate. There's no way that we can let energy go across, outside or in, nor let matter go in and out. And so that means that this energy is constant, okay? So that means if it can't transfer energy out, transfer energy in, right, there's going to be no heat that goes across this barrier, okay? Now let's bring that to uh, a system that we may be using more frequently, and that is a closed system. So again, it's sealed, okay, and we can't let matter or mass go across, but we do have the ability to allow energy to go in and out, okay? And so now we would see that inside of our system, we have a specific internal energy. And that internal energy is, includes kinetic and potential energy. But this is not constant per se, because we could absorb energy or release energy, which would change our uh, internal energy. Now with our closed system, we now have the ability to have our internal energy change. Well, our internal energy can change by two different forms. One of them is a change in kinetic energy, Right, and we talked about kinetic energy change before, and we said that relates to heat, okay? So we can absorb or release heat, and that is absorbing or releasing kinetic energy, right? So that is a form of energy that we can absorb or release, or we can do work, or have work done on us, okay, as the system. So if we're looking at our system here, internal energy can change by heat, absorbing being released, changing the temperature, or work being done. Okay, and we'll focus a little bit later on what work is and how we look at this uh, in some later videos and tutorials, but work is, we're gonna focus on is expansion work. So expanding or contracting our system, right? Not necessarily letting anything go in and out, but still expanding or contracting our system, okay? So we can have our internal energy change here by absorbing heat and allowing work to be done, okay? And so now what we'll see is that <clears throat> we can also rearrange this a little bit and we're gonna see how this may relate to our enthalpy. So if we bring work over here, that's equal to whatever heat we'd absorb or release. So our internal energy minus whatever work we do or is done on us, okay? This value, okay, we'll see can be defined as what happens to our enthalpy, okay? So the change in enthalpy relates to the heat being released or absorbed and we tend to call this Q sub P, meaning we're allowing this to happen at constant pressure. And we'll talk uh, the difference between constant pressure and constant volume heats and how they would relate to each other. Uh, but we see now that if I say enthalpy change, so this change in this state function of enthalpy, we can also call that the heat. So we, we'll see that our enthalpy change, we, can, we also call heats of reaction because it's related to the heat that is absorbed or released during a reaction. So hopefully this gives us a little bit of information about closed, uh, isolated systems, how that relates to our 
internal energy, the two forms, as well as ways we can change our internal energy.